I gave her 10 racks, I told her go shopping and spend it all at the pop up. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. As you guys know by the title, I am showing you guys my entire Yeezy collection. As you guys can see, none of them are up here because I took them down for a thumbnail. And now I'm about to show you guys every single one. But I'm not going to tell you guys how I got them. If you guys want to know how I got them, leave a comment down below and say, I want to know how you got your Yeezys. And I will make that tomorrow's video. So the way I'm going to structure this video is I'm going to make it from the least hype Yeezys to the most hype Yeezys. So all that being said, let's get it. The Creams V2 are the least limited pair in my collection. And I think that'd be the least limited pair on anybody's collection if you owned them because these were super easy to get. Well, I can't say they were super easy, but they were a lot easier to get. And honestly, I was in love with them because they're white and white goes with everything. You can wear the shoe with absolutely anything. But unfortunately, there's not much going on to it. So I can't say that is my favorite V2. The only thing I don't like about it since it's all white, obviously it gets dirty easily. And I try so hard not to get my shoes dirty. I do have crep and all that, but I try not to get it dirty. And you can't really see it on camera, but if there are some spots here and there that you see when out on my feet or when you look at it closely. So I'm stuck between this one and the next shoe to know which one is like more limited, but whatever doesn't really matter. I, can, I think they're kind of around the same quantity. But yes, this is an Oreo Cream V2, very nice shoe. I was so happy when I got it because this shoe is very easy to match with absolutely anything, just like the white Cream V2. This one is black, it's simply black, and then you have like a white stripe. It's not even a white, it's like an off-white, but then at times it looks tan, it looks like a nice cream or chalk color. But it's weird, like when you wear a white shirt with it, it matches and it makes the stripe look white. But when you wear like a tan shirt with it or a cream shirt with it, it looks cream. It's very weird how this stripe works. It's, it trips me out sometimes. I'm like, yo, what color is it really? Sometimes it even looks gray. When I first got it, it looked gray. I would have to say this was one of my favorites when I first got them, but then it kind of just lost its hype for me. I don't know why, I guess I got better Yeezys. Like my favorite one, I'll tell you guys in a bit, but this one is one of my least favorite V2s. Next up is the Bread V2. This was actually one of my favorites as well. I feel like all the Yeezys that when I got them, they were my favorite until the next one came out. The thing about this one is that it has red and red is not easy to match, well, it's not hard to match with. I mean, it's mostly black, so you could wear it with almost anything, but I usually kind of like to match my shoes sometimes and the red kind of throws it off unless you wear like a red shirt. It'll make the outfit pop a lot. They're pretty simple, mostly black. You got the SPLY 350 and then the red stitching on the tab. Pretty dope. I remember these came out. They had a heel tab on them. I was very disappointed in that, but now I'm used to it. It actually makes it a lot easier to put the shoe on now. Next up on the list is the Zebra B2, and I should have actually put this one way ahead of the list because I think this one comes right after the creams, as in like limited quantity. I think it's the creams and then the zebras and then the Oreos and then the breads, but I'm not sure. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. I'm, I'm just going on with this video. I'm showing you guys my whole collection. These are actually my favorite V2 in my whole collection because you can match this with literally anything. I don't care about the red on this one. You mostly have black and white. Black and white goes with everything. And if you do seem to get it dirty, some spots on like right here, you won't really notice it. But if you get it dirty on the stripe, you will notice it, which kind of sucks. But honestly, this shoe goes with absolutely anything. They literally plummeted in price like crazy. So if you haven't picked up your pair, right now is the best time before they go up in a year when all the dead stock pairs are worn. That's when all the prices are gonna go up again. Not all the way up to like 1600 or a thousand, maybe a thousand, I don't know, but I doubt it. it might go up to like 800, 700, which is why I'm holding on to my pairs until like a year or two and then flip them for more. But I'm gonna tell you guys something, these are definitely gonna go back up in price. Next up, we do have, of course, the Beluga V2. I know you guys see them in the background of all my videos. They're always in this box right here. And these are my most limited V2s I absolutely love these when I got them. I was so happy. It was like the first, I think it was the first Yeezy I got for retail. Let me make sure it is. Yes, it is. This was the first, no, actually it was the second one, but it was the first V2 and I actually scored a few pairs on these. This is when I was reselling. I had bots and all that. And then I was able to get this pair and like I think two, three, four of the other pairs. And then one of them got canceled, but I still got a good amount. I raffled one off. I sold a pair and I kept my pair. And then I don't know what I did with the other one. I, th I don't remember exactly how many I got, but this was a very big shoe for me of 2016 because it was a successful shoe. What I love about it is that it has this orange stripe. It stands out. Like when you're wearing these shoes, people know you're wearing Yeezys. I know all my shoes are real. So don't even try that and say they're fake. Because I know there's you trollers out there. Always, always somebody going to be down there saying that your shoes are fake. Your Yeezys are fake. Bruh, I know my Yeezys are real. Don't try me. Now moving on to the V1s, which I don't even think that's what they're called. But I'm just going to call them V1 because it's the easiest way to refer to them. I don't know exactly which one is more limited than others. But I think I'm pretty sure I know one of them is the least limited, which I'm probably going to start off with that. And then the other two, I don't really know the order. I think they're around the same. So starting off with the first V2, we do have the Pirate Black. These are super freaking nice. I was in love with these because these go with anything. I love shoes that go with anything because that means I'm not limited to what I can wear them with. When I'm limited to a shoe that I can only wear it with some things, it kind of makes me not dislike the shoe, but it makes me like not like the shoe as much. And this one just goes with anything. I know it has the red stitching there, but 
who cares you barely even see that what i love about the v1 is a pattern the pattern is so nice but yeah that's pretty much it this is actually the least limited one because there were two drops there was the first drop and then there was the second drop and these are from the first drop if i'm not mistaken yeah they're 2015 the second drop was 2016 around like january february next up is the moon rock colorway and i would have to say this is my least favorite colorway just because i don't like how sometimes it looks green sometimes it looks gray sometimes it looks green i don't know they're real though don't go in the comments now saying they're fake i know they're real but it's just the fact that you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they do look green. They have like a green tint to it. Just depends on the lighting, I guess. These are not easy to rock with anything. You have to rock the right outfit, the right colors. But the good thing is that it doesn't have any other colors but just the moon rock colorway. And of course, like I said, I love the pattern of the V1s. You can't go wrong with this. Last but not least in my Yeezy collection, I do have the Oxford Tans the babies right here. These are absolutely beautiful. The color is so nice, the tan color. This shoe goes with anything as well, which is why I love it. It's kind of dope how the pattern looks like it's like kind of embossed in there. I don't know, it's not really embossed, it just looks like that for some reason. I love that, very dope. I don't know how they did that, super sick. And that pretty much sums up my Yeezy collection. I actually did have the turtle doves, but I ended up selling those because I don't even know why. So I, I think I sold them to get the pirate blacks, which is dumb because now the turtles are going for so much money and they're just so much hype and I'm a hype beast. I wish I had them. And I'm an idiot, guys. I'm an idiot, I swear. I'm an idiot for selling them. They were size eight, they felt a little big, but now I see they have the pirate blacks in size seven. They're a little bit small, and they don't have seven and a half in turtle doves, so that kind of got me upset. In the end, I wish I would have kept the size eight. Sometimes I regret it so much, but in the end, I will find those shoes one day in my size, dead stock, and real, because I know there's so many fake pairs out there. If you guys did enjoy my Yeezy collection, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell was that? I don't even know what just happened there. Originally, I did want to make an entire sneaker collection video, but the problem with that is that I don't have enough time during my day to record because I have so many shoes, and to show you guys every single one is just gonna take so long, so I'd rather just show you guys like parts of it at a time, and then maybe one day I'll just put it all in one video, and you guys can see it all at the same time. Before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, and today's fan of the day goes to Jesus John Dilly, but your name is spelled G-E-3-Z-U-S space John Dilly, all one word. Congrats to you, you entered the giveaway. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to enter the giveaway for the end of this month, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and on the latest video, comment notification squad. And then if you're one of the first people, you will become fan of the day for the next video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and do everything I just said. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaker Sign Out.